What's up, guys? So, today we are going to be cleaning these guys. I had to cover it because uh, I did some painting like over there a few days ago. I had to paint um, one of my friend's hood and I'm gonna show it to you guys real quick. but yeah um, I'm gonna be cleaning these wheels it's gonna be my cleaning station Man, I miss looking at these wheels because my truck is on jack stands, still on jack stands, and just waiting to go pick up my diff when it's done getting regeared. So I'm gonna be cleaning these guys. So by the time my diffs are done getting the gears installed. These guys would be clean and ready to throw it back on the truck. Many. So I'm just gonna grab my stuff and set up. So my truck on jack stands still. Polish. Some rags. I'm gonna take this too. And we can just set this here for now. So we'll be using these guys. And also my blower. battery for the blower the nozzle and last but not least the Hawaiian AC Because this is Hawaii and it can and it will get hot. One more thing a chair so you guys can sit down. I think I'm gonna move everything here because there's shade here. From this tree all right so first step turn on the fan <laughs> get comfortable and then we are gonna start off with the back of the wheel and then do the tire and do the face the other side last so I'm just gonna wipe off like all this brick dust and dirt from the back just clean it all off you can wipe it down with like a wet rag You could even use like a like soapy water or a degreaser of your choice to take off like all of this grime. See that? All 
And once you did that, you grab your blower. Just to blow off like excess water. Or if you don't have a blower, then you probably would just have to dry it with a rag. So what we're pretty much doing is just giving the back of the wheel a wax. Just so it's easier to clean. Like every time you're under the truck and want to like reach in between your brakes to just wipe off all of the dust i should have done this right when i got the wheels because as you guys can see there's like a little bit of stain around the wheel and every time i would clean the wheel i would like wipe the inside part of the wheel maybe like every month or so but after a while it just kept getting harder to wipe i guess because of like all the build up and stuff so if you guys buy new wheels, I suggest doing this to your wheels before you throw them on. Like just coat it with wax or even better, ceramic coat it. Any kind of wax. I'm using this wax that I use. It's the Cherry Flash Liquid Paste Wax. And I like this one because as you guys can see, it's kind of like liquidy. So it's easy to apply compared to like legit paste wax so just do the whole back side of the wheel as I wipe it I can already tell like the surface is much smoother and slipperier so it'll be easier to clean whenever it's on the car. And shoot guys, I think I should have <laughs> cleaned the tire before I wax this. Just because when we scrub it and shoot it down, the rim is gonna get wet again and we're gonna have to wipe it. So don't make the same mistakes. I ain't perfect and it's all about learning. <laughs> Learn from your mistakes, guys. Learn from my mistakes. For the tire part, same thing. I'm just gonna use a degreaser. You can already see the bubbles like catching all the dirt. Then you grab a brush and just brush away. And when you're done brushing it, just shoot it down with a hose. The other side isn't too bad because I always clean that part when the rim is on the truck so I'll just leave it like that for now still a little bit dirty but that'll go away with some tire shine <laughs> then dry your wheel if you feel like you need to repolish this side or re-wax it then feel free feel free not expensive <laughs> just kidding then go for it but it's still good to me so i'm gonna leave it like that then flip your wheel and we are on the brighter side So 
this side we could get straight to polishing because this is the side that we usually clean all the time it just needs a polish and Anita I think it looks good already <laughs> so what I usually use for a polish is white diamond and I could go into a lot of detail of why I like this polish but I'll probably save that for another video because there's like too much information but one of the main reasons why I like this polish is because it has a sealant to it. You guys can use like any other metal or aluminum polish you guys want but my choice of polish will be white diamond. You just give it a shake. Make sure you even dry your lug nut holes. And then we'll pour some on the sides and get to polishing so today I'm just hand polishing some people like Dane uses a buffer but I don't have a buffer I'll probably invest in one later but hand polish is good enough for me for now so you just keep going at it just keep rubbing it in that's pretty much all there is to it so when you look at your rag you can tell that your rag is turning a dark black color that means that it's polishing <laughs> so yeah these are the parts that I don't really like about these wheels because there's like a lot of them and you kind of got to get in there good but I would say to take your time with it because the outcome is worth it you guys might be wondering why I haven't gotten it ceramic coated or probably suggesting it or maybe even commented on this video that I should get it ceramic coated but the reason why I chose not to ceramic coat on um, these wheels is because they're polished and when you ceramic coat polished wheels sometimes you could get water spots and when you try to repolish it like this again I've heard that you could be removing the ceramic coating so it would kind of be for nothing or like a waste to do so I mean ceramic coating the back part of the wheel would be good because you're not constantly polishing that part you're just wiping it off like dirt and stuff but yeah this is how I do it and if you keep up with your polishes like doing this maybe like every other week or so or at least before it gets like too bad then you should be good but yeah guys that's just my opinion on ceramic coating and polished wheels I know other people have like opinions that they rather prefer ceramic coating over polished wheels but that's just my opinion if your wheels were like chrome plated and not polished then I would ceramic coat it because chrome plated you can't really like polish the plate the plating I mean you can it's like waxing it but like dirt and stuff usually comes right off of it but I think I've mentioned it in my previous videos where the good thing about polished wheels is that you could always resurface the wheel even if it like starts to pit and stuff if you haven't taken care of it in a long time so when you polish wheels using this using the polish or like usually any kind of polish the wheels will kind of come hazy like this but that's how it's supposed to be then when it dries you just wipe it off and you can and you can see like the difference but I'm gonna wait till after I polish the whole thing to show you guys how it looks like after I wipe it down. So I'm gonna finish up polishing this wheel and do my best to catch like the inside and stuff. And I'll get back to you guys after. So after you finish polishing, this is how the wheel should look. Should look kinda hazy. And now we're ready to wipe off the polish. 
So I'm gonna start off in the middle and into the face and then the lip or the dish of the wheel. It's kind of hard to get in between the letters but that'll do for now. Hello there. Then we're gonna catch the insides of the of these parts right here. Damn. You can already see the shine. And then we're gonna start on the dish. Working our way from the top to the bottom. And there it is. Damn. I'd usually finish it off with some tire shine on the tire, but I'm gonna wait on that because I don't wanna get my hands like kinda like sticky or greasy when I throw the wheels back on the truck. Well, you can really see the difference in the shine compared to like these ones i mean this still looks oh what you doing over there this still looks pretty shiny but like you guys can see i don't know if you guys can see it but like the water spots and all that and like how the inside over here they look kind of dull and the dirtiness in the back hold up let me put this rim right next to that rim to compare it so you guys could see so yeah here they are and you guys kind of see the difference looks like the lip on this side the dish looks more um like has like more of a sharper image I mean like a clearer image compared to this side it's like kind of looks a little bit dull it's like water spots all over and when you guys kind of look through here it looks dirty you guys can see the dirt compared to when you guys look at this one it's like clean or well cleaner see the difference in the dishes the clearer image I was talking about it's like clearer and more dull
So I have like the other three more to do and I'm gonna get to that now I guess kinda lazy already but someone's gotta do it I'm pretty much gonna do what I did to this wheel to the other three and yeah <laughs> I think that's all for this video today. So thanks for watching guys. Catch you guys on the next one. If you guys have any questions, comments, drop it down below. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Shoots.